Hello everybody, this is Sister Mary and Brother John with Homesteading Haven and I had shared on the ministry channel what happened today but a, a complete miracle happened but I'm going to show you this massive tree over here in just a minute but what happened is and you're going to hear Brother John sawing this right in here this is where our property line stops and they've been working on this fence and we are to the back side. It's going to have to go all the way up. Brother John had to cut down a tree. Uh, and it ended up not wanting to come down. His saw got stuck. Now I'm going to... Uh, let me see if I can make my way over here. Without too many cobwebs. I'll show you my little boots. <laughs> That's my funny. All right, so this tree was massive. Now you can see part of it. It's going all the way across the back side, which cows run back there. So that's why he's having to cut what fell on that side, get those limbs back over here. Let me show you the base of this tree. So let me get to the story for those that come on the ministry channel they already know the story but they enjoy watching the videos too so he had come there's Evie he had come and got this jack after his saw was stuck plus he had all of these pieces wedges stuck in the the tree and he was taking a hammer and trying to beat it and see if it would uh, go over because there was a tree behind it holding it up now I'm just gonna show you the miracle of God. I come down here with him on the tractor so that I can be a witness to make sure he's not getting hurt. Here was the tree that was holding this huge tree up once he started cutting on it. And you can see that it was hollowed. It was not a good tree. So he was right in making sure that this massive tree got taken care of. See how big that is? All right, so the miracle is that Brother John had the saw stuck, couldn't get it out. We had to get the tree down because we have high winds in Tennessee sometimes. And this tree could have, you know, killed somebody if they're back here walking around. Uh, and not to mention him not knowing which way it was going to go. It did end up going uphill a little bit. But you'll see in just a minute, a lot of its branches got over there on the other side. And there's cows that run over there. And so he's busy. And so is my son and my daughter-in-law. They're using saws and trying to get that cleared up. But do you see how massive this tree is? Now, how did it get down, you might ask? Well, Brother John and I believe in miracles and we simply started asking the Lord to send us help to send an angel to just bump it and uh, the moment I got it out of my mouth to send an angel to just tap on the tree you heard it creaking and when we begin to thank the Lord and we begin to ask him to send two angels then it, it fell within that two minutes we didn't even get it out of our mouth So some of you would say, oh, that's not a miracle. It's a miracle to us. Uh, I also want to show you this. And not only knock down those two trees, but look right here. It pulled two small ones completely up. <laughs> Be very careful when you are cutting down trees because you don't know what's going to happen. But this is a part of homesteading. You have to clear uh, your land. You have to get rid of bad trees. You have to put fence lines up, fence rows up, whatever for your uh, livestock. And we've got goats that will be purchased very soon. And some of you have already seen the chicken coop that was built and uh, a greenhouse is still gonna be built. 
I did have a dear sister send me a beautiful 8 by 6 I believe, greenhouse. And I'm going to use it for holding some of my uh, household kind of plants that you would plant. I'm going to put it in the greenhouse. So it's going to, I'm going to have like a little mini room. Or it's going to be beside the, the greenhouse. I'm trying to get down here. They don't know that I'm walking down here. They probably don't all want to be on camera. So I'll... I don't even know how... I think Brother John's leg hit a wire. Because they were saying, were you all right? Let me see if I can even get over here. My goodness. See how nice the neighbor's property is it's all cleared out it's all cleaned up look at this it's not clean there's lots of little trees they are throwing branches I'm I'm on camera, but I'm not, I don't have you on camera. I just wanted to show them the, the miracle. So the deal was, this is this is the fence line right here. So because this cannot stay overnight, because the cows will be up through here in the morning, we're doing the right thing, even though our neighbor knew that we were going to put in uh, a better fence than his two wires. So he had already told us to take this one down and put the new one up. Well, it'll get put up for sure now. But anyway, you can see that it ended up coming over the neighbor's area, and it it went some distance. So thank goodness for our daughter-in-law and our son being here, and Papa will not be out here by himself doing all this, or Brother John, uh, for the rest of the evening. But it this will take, I'd say, some weeks to clean up, and of course that's enough firewood for more than a winter just in the, the trees that got knocked down. But anyway, I had told brothers and sisters that I would do a video. So there's your video of the massive tree that came down and it took out three other trees. And it was a miracle because the angels knocked it over for sure. We were left with cleaning up a little bit of mess, but nobody's hurt. And we are just thankful that um, they're talking about the firewood. Isn't it nice to have you? <laughs> so God bless you all. Join me again at Homesteading Haven. Uh, don't think homesteading means just a country life. It's, it's constant work. So God bless you and look forward to seeing you and talking to you again.